Hello everyone and welcome to my new tutorial. I am SV and today I will show you how to make this composition. Today I will show you how to easily make helix sphere. I will show you how to use sweep tools. Additionally, we will check a redshift light and redshift atmosphere. I will show you how to make easily animation of letters in more text. Uh, we will do a separate animation of each letters. And in the final, we will do a camera animation with morph tag and post production and after effect. So, if you are ready, let's start! We are in Cinema 4D and first of all I will create a sphere. Standard sphere, just pick up for 100 cm. Go to front view and create a spline helix. Change rotation like in my tutorial. Increase subdivision, maybe 500, I don't know, like this. And start radius should be zero, and radius should be 100, and hey should be 100, like this. Okay, what you have to do now just increase a uh, angle rotation of this helix so i increase too much maybe 3600 like this and you have two very interesting option radial bs and hay bears so by these two bottoms you can change our um, geometry of this helix so Apply and change maybe maybe like this 35 and 75 I don't know yeah 35 75 so I like it what you have to do now take this sphere and delete we don't need it anymore helix copy and drag somewhere up change for 180 degrees and put to 200 centimeter 200 centimeter what we have now as you can see this helix finishes here and this helix started here so we are take top helix rotation tool and change direction for 180 degrees okay very good and select both of them right click connect and delete object very good what we have to do now if we go to point selection this point and start moving as you can see this is different points yes it's not one so we have to select both of them both this waypoint right click and weld it weld it together like this after that select right click and make it soft interpolation like this very good and now all my this helix is only one very long waypoint and now up to you you can use or more spline or sweep tool i will use sweep tool i will take sweep tool circle I will make five centimeters put inside and put inside helix and what I have very interesting geometry so now I will make a little bit update of this geometry go inside in the sweep and here you have a scale so this is start of my helix this is finish of my helix start and finish I like to make not so big scale maybe like this and maybe like this but middle i like to make more just hold counter on your keyboard and make left click and pick up maybe somewhere somewhere here until you will be satisfactory satisfaction 
very good and maybe a little bit adjust maybe maybe like this you can make it absolutely up to you but okay i like i like this geometry looks like very very nice very good what we will do now we are create a mograph text mo text and i will put helix sphere like my tutorial today for font i will use a very interesting font which i found just few days ago uh, name of this font all spice all spice size 50 and what i have to do just little bit change a change a length between the letters to avoid any connection so i will increase maybe maybe 14 like this very good additionally i will use cup yes and yes and maybe only two centimeter and maybe three centimeter here or yeah two centimeter will be enough okay very nice so i put somewhere here and somewhere here almost done this is will be like final look of my composition so now i will animate uh, my helix helix sphere so i go to swipe sweep go to key number zero and inside in the object i animate start growing or uh, end growing so zero will be Mm -hmm. okay it's from opposite side we will animate here no problem start and 150 will be zero like this what we have slowly coming animation very nice now i have to create one standard uh, standard not redshift uh, cinema 4d light this light letter i very need for my after effect uh, post-production i will use for this light track light from optical flare if you know need not necessary to make like in my tutorial for light i will apply tag spline pass inside in spline pass i will put helix and we'll do same animation so key number zero will be 100 and key number 150 will be zero like this what i have if i push is start working but as you can see it's not together because it's not liner now i will put interpolation key properties liner check again okay very good as you can see it's working properly it's working properly very nice so uh animation with uh, sweep and with helix sphere finish it now we are going to animate my mo text what i will do for mo text i will use a mograph plane animation i will go here and i have plane and as you can see my text change a position so for plane i will disable position animation i no need it i will animate only scale and uniform scale will be from minus one it's mil absolutely zero after that i will go to fallout and i will change my shape from infinity to standard liner like this very good so i will change a little bit maybe maybe like for like this and what i have if i move it you see my spheres going down so i will go to final composition it will be like this and i will put this liner somewhere somewhere here like this from uh, in this area i need already full text so now i will change few settings in my plane first of all i reduce a fallout as you can see when uh, my text touching red line is already minus one scale 
and from yellow up to red is mean fallout so i will change maybe for for maybe for 15 15 uh, percent like this and my text very fast going to zero very fast so i will keep i will keep maybe maybe like this look if i take a text and push here letters going to zero and here will be already 100% of scale. Very good. What I have to do now, I will animate text. So from frame number one, uh, maybe, maybe from here. No, 150. Yes, I will use 150. I will put my text somewhere here. Very good. And for coordinates, keyframe and key number 200, my text will be here. Again, keyframe. And what I have, check all animation. Slowly coming my helix sphere. And when it's almost completed, coming my text very good maybe i will change oh sorry i will drag few frames back just my sphere not completed and text already start coming okay very good and as you can see my text coming linery i like to add some animation for each letters what i will do select my mo text go to mo graph and apply a factor delay. For this effector, I'm going to effect and change mode to spring and increase maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe 80%. What we have now, check how my letters will come in. You see, it's like a jumping like a jumping very nice looks like very nice okay maybe i will check change again a little bit 10 frames before again okay very good uh, if you increase, if you increase a strange for 90, 95%, you will have more animation, more spring for my text. Uh, maybe you like to make you see, yes, it's jumping too much. Yes, jumping too much. So I will use only 80. I, I like like this. What we will do now, we will add some material. Uh, first of all, I apply a red shift dome light. For dome light, I will use standard white color, nothing more. Then I will create redshift material and I will use maybe, I don't know, just blue color, like in my tutorial, yeah? Maybe dark blue. Okay, dark blue. Okay. And I will use some reflection, maybe 0 0.2, just to give some specular okay not any bump nothing more very easy material i apply this to my sweep and i apply it to my mo text so go and check how it will be i have doom light dome light and somewhere here we will go to my render change to redshift go to output i will use very wide screen uh, all other frames good and system bucket 250 spiral and check what i have okay very very interesting animation so now i will apply some reflection on the floor for this i have to make i have to make some plane yeah maybe i will use some plane I no need. Maybe like this. Okay. 
very good. And I will create one more redshift material. Go inside. I hope it worked because when I prepare my tutorial I didn't use it and I use made shadow material only. So I connect here and what I will apply? Shadow. Yes. And reflection. Yes. Like this. What we check now? We apply this material to my floor and we will render again and check if it will be some yeah okay some reflection coming but it's also black color so i change to back is environment like this maybe diffuse i no need and reflection maybe reduce up to two check again if it's not working i will show you other possibility how to make okay you see some reflection and you see some shadow very nice very nice okay now i change little bit position of my helix maybe like maybe like this and maybe like this you will you can make it up to you but a little bit change and I take all my effects and put also little bit up and little bit here very good now we apply a camera I will make like this and I will call it final camera so go to coordinates 0 0 and put maybe down maybe somewhere okay i go to last frame and i like to make a middle very good if i render what i have i have very very interesting animation so i think i will put my text and all these effects with playing also little bit here closer and adjust again camera render and check what I have I hope now is almost on the middle yeah very good maybe little bit put camera down okay like this and I show you how to make very interesting effects so I like to receive these letters some from from a light from a maybe a teleport light so I use a area light as you know this blue one is direction of this light I will turn for 90 degrees and I will put exactly close to position for my letters first of all uh -huh. you see yes my sphere is not in good position I take my sphere and put somewhere here very good and take my light and put also here so change little bit high of my light maybe like this and reduce a uh, size maybe only only 80 very good what I have if I render, my light will give some illumination. Mm, it's very difficult to see, but I show you how to change it. First of all, we will increase a uh, intensity. Then I change a color. Maybe it will be light blue. And then I go to redshift settings to basic and add some environment. Atmosphere. Redshift atmosphere. So check and now nothing happened nothing happened but i see already blue illumination to receive some atmosphere i have to go to area light volume and change just little bit maybe 0 0.01 check again and i already can see some volumes some volume light coming now a little bit increase maybe 100 and check again okay you see it's coming too much maybe only 10 and maybe a little bit increase volume 0 
and change direction like like this 30 degrees okay and for what i need it when my text coming out just a moment i show you when my text start coming out i will have like these effects so i have a light ah okay i cannot see it in present moment because i didn't put uh, visible check again okay my light should be visible i cannot see it in present moment be directional check again no not working properly okay now now I'll try to fix this problem maybe i will increase a little bit okay i know what's the problem the problem is that my dome light also give illumination on background to avoid this problem i will create a standard plane i will increase size of this plane maybe 2000 for 2000 i delete this plane i don't need it anymore i will use this plane and i will add some bend so and check how it's working no negative change rotation 90 degrees check again negative check again okay dogs it's working now i will make 90 degrees you see like this coming like this 90 degrees and i will add i will add some segments high segments maybe 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 500 500 segments okay and now a little bit change position like this and change for 180 okay very good delete this material create new one we are use only standard black uh, white color nothing more white color and maybe maybe little bit no no any reflection just white color that's all apply this to my plane and check what i have i'm again going to camera and check again so now i can see my lights it's give me some uh volume effect some atmospheric effect and it looks like very bright so i reduce for maybe for 10 check again okay now now it's look like very nice now i have background i have some very nice shadow and my letters coming some somewhere from this area so what i need now just change a little bit position of my mo text first letter i go to this frame and put back more back okay very good as you can see what we have approximately in frame number 100 i go to my lights and i close it it will be like portal so i make a zero my keyframe somewhere here my light will open it keyframe after that start coming letters from my light i will check 200 okay Then 25 open letters coming when all letters will finish somewhere here i put again for light keyframe and after that 15 frames more close it okay very nice if i render now i cannot see any blue illumination and any volumetric light it will be only during the, the time when it will be opened during this area okay very good and finally what i have mm. 
to show you more prob I will make like this okay what I have start animation then open it windows coming my letters and finish animation so now I will animate little bit camera from 150 okay I will change again position of my camera because it is I think it is not at center somewhere here and somewhere here maybe more okay from frame number 150 I will use a game frame then up to final my camera moving ahead like this what i have and camera slowly start moving then i will create a one more camera and i will call it sphere camera so look through the camera go to frame number zero and put somewhere maybe maybe here maybe like this i like to see how my sphere start bears like this i will apply to this camera tag a uh, vibrate yes i of course i can use a motion camera but more easily to animate by vibrate i will use maybe 0 0.4 and only 10 degrees 10 degrees 10 degrees rotation it will give me like a like a this like this so on frame number zero frame number zero i will put this position and this rotation somewhere frame number 130 i put my camera back and maybe like this like this okay very good what i have check it no i don't like that i cannot see now and i will use a yeah, maybe like this okay check again yes now now it looks like very nice and coming text very nice and i will create one more camera and we give the name main camera for main camera i will apply a tag camera morph change source mode to multimorph and put inside to camera first will be camera sphere and second will be final camera and now it very easy to make animation between two this camera so on frame number zero i will use this game frame and frame number 200 i will use final camera and what i have it's moving and slowly going to normal camera it's very easy to animate you can add more cameras you can make each camera different animation and moving between two this camera will be very very soft it's not necessary to make additional animation for camera so check few last times and if you are satisfied with this animation we are going to change the settings of my render first of all i will make a good quality i will increase samples one to eight uh, then i will go to output and i will set all frames and save i will use a png file folder helix sphere and don't forget to put compositing project file save for after effect including 3d data this is very very important don't forget to make like this when everything done start render okay after that we are going to adopt after effect so double click and you will find helix sphere you have pictures and you have one after effect file 
take it and push import. You will have folder. If you make everything correct, you will have almost same folder. Do not apply this, only double click for composition. If you make double click, you will have all transport uh, automatically. You will have, okay, this camera we don't need. You will have main camera, sphere camera, final camera, and light, which we created for sphere. So this and this we no need. We will use only main camera. Go to layer, new, solid. We will call it optical, like this. And apply video copilot optical flyer. Inside in the settings, change source type for track light. After that, change to screen mode. Uh, why it's not working now? Because our light, as you remember, we take out all intensity. So push on your keyboard U and you have all game frames. We no need game frame for intens intensity. Disable it and put 100%. Like this. And what we have? Now my optical flare start work. I go to settings of optical flare. Okay, I delete everything. I create only what I need. First of all, it will be white color. Glue. Like this, like this, and maybe like this. I no need any more. Additionally, I will use some less texture, maybe, maybe dirty, maybe like this. Very nice. Apply and check what I have. You see, it start moving and looks like very, very bright. Uh, change scale 50%. Oh, now it's good. Go to frame number zero and make a brightness zero, keyframe. Go to one seconds more, make it 100. Oh, sorry, 100. Go to last frame, push zero. And go to few frames before, maybe it's five seconds, and make it again 100. And what I have, if you check again, light slowly coming and slowly going down very good uh, we will do some final i don't know new adjustment layer some small color correction i will use magic bullet and maybe i don't know maybe like this classic tension very good as you can see coming some blur and finally what I have, like this. Uh, today I not show you how to add some sounds. You can check all my previous videos I showing you, yes, but in present moment everything completed. If you like my tutorial, please subscribe, please share to your friends, put like, check all my previous tutorials and best regards. Goodbye my friends.